what up? What the fuck? What's up? How's everybody's day going? Oh, my shit, you know. Hey, check it out. Uh, John Fitzgerald Johnson. How did he become who he is today in such a very short time? Very short time. This dude hit the scene with NFAC not that long ago. And how did he become the knowledgeable person he is today? Huh. That dude, I'll tell you right now, man, how he became who he is today in such a short time. Comment section. For years and years, I, I'll be looking at the comment section on videos. Like, if I ran into weird-ass videos, like what people would deem like conspiracy theory videos and all this shit, uh, I would read the comment section. It would be like 13 comments, 14 comments. And so for a long time, I would just, you know, I wouldn't really look up videos, but if videos crossed or whatever, most of the time when I use YouTube was for up until not too long ago was just... Uh, Music. I like music a lot. That's that's my life. I love music. It's great. All types of music too. But anyways, so one thing I started noticing a couple years ago uh, was uh, the difference in the comment sections on like conspiracy theory. It started, I guess, when Trump became president. Is when a lot more people started paying attention to YouTube comments and like the weird shit you know what I mean all the weird shit that brings people here not a lot of people a very 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 small percentage I don't even think it would make up like half a percent of the people that watch YouTube like videos and stuff like that like how to's and different shit but it's a very small percentage of people that use YouTube for like the John Fitzgeralds out there and the, like the, the weird ass fucking people that speak of a place that does not exist and they speak of a time that was long ago um, I'm not saying bad shit hasn't happened yeah bad shit's happened but it's not in any way shape or form this United States of America is not how that fool puts it out to be he acts like we live like in a fifth world country or some shit you know what I mean it's kind of weird it's even weirder that people are buying into his bullshit but anyways how he became who he is today since he launched NFAC that hate group uh, is from the comment sections he reads every time since his very first video when he came out came up on the scene as a goofy fucking Carlton asshole and didn't know shit lied to everybody and fucking just like straight try to sell himself, sell his butthole. Uh, he would read the comment section and then his next video would be shaped by the comment section of his last video. Right? So basically the shit he's talking now and just the shit he talks about now the shit he talks about he's been talking about he's grown every time he's made a video because of the comment section where people that actually know what they're talking about will get on there and critique him or talk some shit and obviously nobody in the comment section knows everything about everything but what he's doing is reading reading and reading and reading comments so he'll come out on a new video talking about some shit that yep claiming some shit that in previous videos he denied like he had no idea what the hell it was you know what I mean and the reason why is because somebody either left a comment or even that too he's done it to me a couple times where his next video after I leave comments he won't respond to the comments but his next video he'll be biting so he uses the same tactics that he did when he was a DJ I guess where they accused him of being a biter he's using that same tactic where he'll read people's comments and then he'll claim that, or he'll act like that was his idea. You know what I mean? Like, I'll throw one out there that has nothing to do with me, but he used a term. Oh, this is Chestnut Checkers. Like, in a video I seen, he said, uh, 
that he made that popular. That's hilarious. But just that's just a small example. But he's done like on probably fifty fucking things that I put in comments. He's used it on videos after my comments, and then even a couple of videos I made. He's trying to like bite off and act like that's his knowledge coming out. Like he knew that stuff. You know, but it's apparent Like you watch his earliest videos. It's completely apparent that this fool did not live life on the ground level. But the rest of us, I don't know. You know what I mean? But he shapes and he's like a shapeshifter by reading comments and watching videos. He acts like he doesn't. And then there's a couple times where I know he, he was the one commenting. But he puts up like an alias. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, it's funny. That's basically how he became the man he is today versus a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. Is because he'll read the comments and then he shapeshifts and he uses them as his own stuff, his own material. It's cool, but I'm just saying, you know, if he was real, he wouldn't have to do any of that. And how he talks about shooking people and people are scared. It's obvious they're not. Like, there's so many people that are not. There is some that are, but that same thing like all the weird shit that's going on in the world makes up like less than half a percent of people if you just step outside I want I want people that their life is how he explains it to I want them to like make a video or a comment in here saying oh no he's he's right with what he's saying because they live that life I want to see somebody who's been shot their whole life by cops or by white people or the KKK KKK is a joke just like Jay is uh, they've been long gone so it's just weird like he uh, he acts like shit that existed in the 50s is existing today some of it does yeah I'm not gonna doubt that is there systematic racism yeah there is it's not how the the news and the media portray it or how BLM does or how Jay does systematic racism is exactly what Jay is doing and what BLM does and what the media does and what the Democrats do where they will use you because of our horrible past they'll use a certain group of people and make them feel like they're victims or make them feel like they're weak or make them feel like there's all this bad shit going on you know what I mean and there is there's some but it's not what makes it up like if People that cannot go out in the public without constant contact of, like, hooded fools on horses and ropes and trees and fucking shotguns and fucking rounds fucking piercing by your fucking face. I want to hear from you guys because I've been all over this motherfucking nation and in other countries and I ain't seen that shit. And this is like battle-torn countries I've been to. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've been in contact, but... We, we was going you know we knew what was coming we knew what what we were doing we knew what you know what was gonna crack so that was just normal that was like drinking a soda you know what I mean or some water you know anyways I wanna hear from you guys that that life is real Somebody tell me, I'll go to that motherfucking town where that shit is real, where you got hooded ass KKK fools. I'll go butt naked. I'll go butt naked and walk 50 miles, bro. And then you guys could just scoop me up in a fucking van or a fucking, like a cut list or some shit on 30s. That shit better be fly as fuck though with a nice ass system. If you could point me in the direction to where motherfucking KKK is up on horses or even walking or even not with their robes and you think they're KKK and just blacks are getting hunted down by cops or KKK I will go butt ass naked you know what I mean and walk you guys tell me what city and I'll just start walking through that motherfucker or with shorts on so I don't like violate the laws you know what I mean cause it's kinda can't be walking butt naked with kids around cause I ain't no motherfucking pervert but anyways and then you guys just pick the spot I won't even tell anybody I'm going. I'll just pop up, and you guys can scoop me up, and then we'll see what's up. You know what I mean? Or you could electric shock me if you want to with the car battery to make sure I ain't got no bugs on me under my skin or some bullshit. You know what I mean? But I guarantee you not one motherfucker can point me in a motherfucking direction 
of that shit while you all over here fucking trying to tear up a country that motherfuckers are coming from other countries, good people coming from other countries to make, make a life over here in this country and you trying to act like like what? And these ones are running from persecution. These people are running from they got nobody. There, there's no, no they can't trust authority. They can't trust anything. And you guys crying about this shit? Fucking commie ass, fake ass fools. This shit ain't about race and you guys know it, but you're quick to lie to your people. Tell me, any of you in there, ask that. What's up, man? Wait a minute. Why don't we go to these areas where this shit is really happening? You know what I mean? Don't go to no town where it's, oh yeah, anybody and everybody always carries fucking weapons and announce your shit. Pop up. You don't need fucking 2,000 people, bro. There's a, a unit of fucking five, six fools. I seen fucking thousands of people done, bro. You know what I mean? You don't need a, a whole unit. I mean, you don't need a whole, uh, like, 2,000 people. Full. Full. Fully also. There's teams of two. There's teams of one that just, well, fucking, it's a wrap. And then that, too, on the Kyle, Kyle kid. People want to talk shit. And then even the media, that's fucked up, man. Even the media coming out saying he's a white supremacist. He answered a call, right? He was attacked. He had every right to be where the fuck he was at. You guys are tripping with that shit. People keep talking about, uh, he's 17 years old and the local laws say, that. I don't give a fuck what those laws say, bro. I don't know if you guys pay attention, but there was obvious skill set with that kid and obvious communication skills that that kid ain't just a run-of-the-mill. He's almost that. The weapons handling is kind of run-of-the-mill like suburban household type kids like all my kids know how to shoot all of them they know how to shoot and move they know how to they know how to deal with shit after the shooting they know how to drive through hostile areas you know and stay frosty they know how to they know how to put in work they know how to put in work since they're 12 13 years old and they know how to receive it too you know but that's normal if you People are tripping on Kyle and, oh my God, like Jay crying like a little baby. Oh my God, I looked up the law and this and that. How did he get this? How did he get that? Oh my God. And he was crying like a bitch. All scared and shit. There's little girls, bro, that fucking just put shit down. <laughs> Not, oh, 2,000 people. There's millions of motherfucking people. It's ways of life for decades and decades and decades and decades where people trained and they knew there's evils in this world. They're not racist at all. They're some of the nicest people in the world, you know? And you guys are tripping on one little kid? Like, one, he's not even a little kid. I don't know why I keep saying that, but 17-year-old dude. And then you're tripping on why he had a rifle, why he was there. He could be where he was at. It was the United States of America. He's free to travel. He has every right. He has God-given right to have been armed and to defend himself or be defending somebody else. My question is, is those people just sitting there doing absolutely nothing? Are you, What are you, you going to be held accountable for? These ones that want to sit there and cast judgment so quick. What are the people that are there doing nothing? That's a form of condoning. You're condoning behavior. If somebody's came to your town or your area or within a couple hundred miles of where you're at and you're sitting there watching this shit, you're condoning that behavior. You know what I mean? You're not the bad guy if you go out there and, like, kind of monitor it and then make sure, like, nobody's doing some weird shit. You know what I mean? But by doing absolutely nothing, you're condoning it. Like the burning and knocking out of 74-year-old senior citizens, you know, or cops getting their head blasted with a brick. You're condoning that behavior. And then to sit there and criticize this kid, he did excellent, great, great. And after contact, his behavior was just as wonderful as before contact. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, that's how Jay became... The guy he is today in such a short time is because he's a biter. He's so many of his videos, he's used even lines that I've said or comments that I've left him. 
And if you guys don't believe me, go back to the first videos and watch when that clown first came out and he didn't know shit. Didn't even know how to talk to people. Uh, he didn't know the lingo of the ground level people like us. You know, and I ain't mad at the group or a group or I'm not even, I completely understand why people would not like certain people. I understand. But is it right? Does that make it right? Just because... I can understand why people don't like a certain type of person, but just know whatever choices you make, you're going to have to, you're going to be held responsible for that. We're all going to be held responsible for our time here. <clears throat> all of us, every single last one of us <clears throat> are going to be held accountable. So you should ask yourself, you know, are you angry at the right things? You know, are you angry at the right people? Are you angry at the right bush? Are you angry at the right fence? Are you angry at the right sign? Like everything that gets you angry and everything that's holding you up in life from moving forward and being having peace in your life and uh, being free is it a legitimate thing to be upset about. Like, are you legitimately upset? About the right thing. Like the race thing, it's a joke. It's I told this to people when I was by myself against everybody that was about to beat my fucking face in, you know, for speaking on it. But it's because I knew it was definitely wrong, you know, to hate. So um fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say right now. It's just, it's wrong to hate. That's a bottom line. It just makes absolutely no sense. Even, it's not of the flash. Like, there's so many, so many obvious signs. The times that you've been out and about in society. And somebody was nice to you or somebody hooked you up. Or somebody just didn't treat you like a fucking piece of shit. You know, but according to Jay and people that believe all that racist shit. They think the world is something it's not. If you turn this... You, you, if you turn this fucking YouTube bullshit off or flip it over to music, listen to Alicia Keys, listen to some fucking Otis Redding, listen to some Godsmack, listen to some fucking Clutch, listen to Metallica, whatever you listen to, fucking Los Capos de Mexico, listen to whatever you listen to, you know, if you could listen to certain types of music and you still hate people that's insane like I listen to all kinds of shit and I'll blast that shit at least on my Harley I would uh, bump like Dub C or Alicia Keys real loud in this neighborhood I worked in that was they had a bunch of it was more of a white neighborhood that had dudes with like Swazis tatted on them and shit there was a lot of like radical white fools right there they were cool you know they weren't really racist and I asked them hey why did you get that on your Why'd you get that tatted blasted on your chest like that? Oh, just, I was in the joint and it was just, I'm not racist. They were even trying to explain to me they weren't racist. So I tripped out and I was like, oh, that's crazy. But I would bump on my bike, on my bagger, on my motherfucking road glide, road glide dog. I bumped that shit real loud and I would just sit there and just look at them on there coming out. It was almost like in prison, like how the tear is and shit. And he's supposed to be looking over and even one of them took his shirt off. He ripped it off, had a big old Swazi. And so I just, kicked that shit, got off, and I'm like, what up, Wood, what up, you know, and I used that shit right there to be like, what's up, bros, why are you guys hating on, like, why are you guys hating on me, bro, I'm white, right, I'm cool, white is right, right, you know, no, I fucking got mad because what I was listening to, I'm like, bro, don't act like you ain't in there jerking off to some black porn, or you ain't in there secretly fucking bumping some fucking Tupac and shit. You know, some motherfucking big pun. And, uh, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. And they were cool, you know, they were cool. But I've always done that shit. I've never been scared about that shit. But people need to wake up and stop messing with this. And really look at just the number of comments or the number of views on the most popular shit and even multiply that by 10. What everybody's dabbling in that's fucking their heads up right now. And is, uh, is, uh, 
like tripping them out or making oh, 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 oh the fucking mother oh my god oh that that oh the gee about that you know then you're consuming all your time with all this weird ass fucking shit instead of throwing bomb ass music on uh look at the amount of views that videos get like really just look at it and then see just see how many people are in the whatever town you live in See how many people live in that town and see what percentage that makes up of just that town and then just imagine the whole United States. You know? The kid Kyle, there's millions of people that raise their people, their kids like that. Millions of people, you know? All my friends, it didn't matter what nationality, they everybody we would go out shooting. We'd go out shooting and training. We had a uh, like Marines and military members that trained the fuck out of us, like everything. We would fight hand to hand ah, and we got the pussies beat out of us you know what I mean it was all low key but it happened with neighbors you know my dad would hit me up hey how about that kid this that 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 so I'd, we'd be kicking it kicking it kicking it and once my dad got a good vibe he'd be like alright cool bring your friend if you want to see if he wants to roll ask his dad if he wants to go so it was we turned just one household into whole communities eventually over periods of years you know what I mean and that's how it's been since fuck before I was born. That's how people were raised because they knew this kind of shit was coming down the road because we were approached with it. Everybody wants to hate. Not everybody, but a lot of people want to hate on uh, white people. But they try to press us into fucking race wars and fucking violence against others a lot. I was 10 years old and I knew that was bullshit. You know, and we just said, nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. And we kick it. You know, and because people are in a little bubble and they never got out and they never experienced life and you just stayed there and didn't fucking do nothing with your life, you know, and I'm not meaning like, uh, oh, you're a piece of shit or this or that. I'm just saying you were sheltered, but you just in a fucking circle, you know, I would see that with people not try to break them out of it. Like, hey, come on, let's go kick it. Maybe I'll what the fuck. And then they would tell me, man, when I first met you, I was like, damn, this fucking white boy. But we were close fuck. We're still close fuck. And some of them would die for me. I wouldn't want that. That's why I never called my boys when shit would go down. They get mad at me. Why the fuck didn't you call me? And I'd be like, cuz, bro, you're my homie. You're my homie. I'll go by myself, bro. You know? But look at the amount of people that are watching that do Jay's bullshit and then just do the math on a small town near you. It's a very small percentage of people. But the reason I'm here is because I care. And I see that fool's doing the same thing to his people that was done to other people back in the day where they would try to play on people's lack of knowledge and realness, you know what I mean? He knows that he could bank on stupid people, and I'm not saying stupid in a disrespectful way, in his mind, he's looking at his followers as stupid-ass people. That's why if somebody is real, and they've been in the streets, and they've been putting in work, they don't get along. He just fucking boots them right away because he knows that's what's going to end his shit because they're real, and they know he's not real. You know, he's fake. And if you don't, you can hate me all you want to, but go look at his oldest video of NFAC. Who cares about his past that he was a DJ, but the only thing to look at, though, is what has he been accused of everywhere he's been, and he's doing the same thing. He's for sure lied to everybody about his capabilities. There's little six-year-old kids, little girls, that could shoot way better than that motherfucker, and supposedly he's an expert shooter. Then he says 3,000 yards. He ain't shooting nothing at 3,000 yards, bro. The, all the other bullshit, who cares? If he would have come out and said, I'm rusty or I got no experience, but I'm going to get it, who cares? That would have been better. At least he's being honest. But he's, I don't know what the fuck he's trying to do, but he's trying to get, he's going to get people in trouble. And now on a video I seen the other day, he's talking about, oh, you guys got to do it. I ain't going to go this and that. If he was real about that stuff, dude, he would be out everywhere. He'd be out there. You know what I mean? That's point blank. That's period. You know, you don't have to go everywhere with guns. Now that he's made that stand and shown with guns, he could just roll with six fools, all discreet and quiet. He'd be safe. You know what I mean? And that's it. Not even announce it. Just pop up. Boom. Talk real quick. They already know what he's done, which is nothing. He just showed up in a place where everybody carries guns anyways. That's it. And then he hypes it up like, they didn't want no smoke. Bro. If they gave two fucks about you, you would have got smoked already, bro. They know you're a joke. Everybody. People you guys want to despise and hate because you believe the lies. 
they're looking out for you more than that fool is. You don't. It's crazy, but it's because we know. You know what I mean? We don't need to kick it. We don't need to explain nothing. Just look at all his videos. Read the comments after. Watch response videos and then see. Tell me I'm wrong. Don't come on here and tell me shut the fuck up and then delete your comment. Don't say, hey, uh, uh, la, la, and then please can you delete the comment so people can't see that I was talking to you. Don't You don't have to do all that. I'm not asking you to appease me. I'm saying go watch his stuff. Do your own research for yourself because you are not stupid. You're really smart, really great people. You got really good bloodline. You're fucking strong as fuck, and you're smart as fuck. You're not dumb, and you ain't no victim. Just that. Go Watch one of his oldest videos and read the comments on that video. Watch the Lisa Lisa ones. Anybody that posts that same video, look at all those comments. Then watch his next videos and he evolves. Not because he's spilling some new knowledge, but because he reads the comments and he watch response videos and he's biting what other people are saying about him and then trying to spin it like if it's his own shit. He's that full stupid. He's trying to trap people up. Trying to trap people up. Just watch those videos. Do your own research. That's it. You can hate me if you want to. I don't hate you regardless of what. It's not my place. Like I said, it's a very, very, very small percentage of people that are falling in line with all this weird shit that's going on right now. Very small. It ain't gonna amount to shit. Everything's gonna go back to normal. But I am here because even if one of you is really on the fence about doing something, I don't want you to do it yet. If you really 100% dedicate all your time and you feel that's necessary, I still wouldn't want you to do anything bad to anybody that's a good person. But, shit, something bad's gonna happen and it's gonna be put on all that group, all that group. And I already know there's good people in there because I know people in there, you know what I mean? They're not there for J or they're there for NFAC. They're there to make sure other people know what's up. You know what I mean? So, not everything's already known. Every fucking thing is already known. But, I know there's a couple people on the fence and they want to go get involved in action. And you guys need to just mellow out and do the research. See if this dude's even real. You know? Just be cautious of what you do. Don't do anything without researching it. That would be like fucking blindfolding yourself on a dark night and just walking straight without looking at anything like running full speed ahead you know what I mean don't do that use a flashlight take the eye wraps off and do shit right I'm not gonna hate on anybody for choices anybody makes God's there for that God's gonna judge everybody everybody is gonna be responsible everybody's gonna be held responsible I'm sorry but yeah just check it out Alright? But Jay's a biter. He bites. He's fucking used so many of my lines that... And I created them, motherfuckers. But it's all good. I don't care. That's what they're there for. If anybody else hears them, cool. You know? Watch all his videos. Start over again and binge watch that shit and you'll see. Read the comments. He bites everybody's shit. And that's what transformed him into what he is now. Versus three months ago. It's him biting. Alright? Peace out. Make sure you guys listen to good music more than you watch fucked up videos. And then fix somebody's car. Do something nice. Doesn't have to be whatever. For whoever you care about, do something nice. Or tell them something positive. Or take away the weird stuff for at least an hour or something. So at least if you guys do get into it, you're mentally strong. Alright? Alright, peace out.